So it's not just because of the food, it's also because of the people, my friend, okay? It is a big week in Cape Town and it is all thanks to the Lurie's Creative Week. It is more than just an industry event, my friend. It's a celebration of creative excellence that has a lasting impact both locally and globally. And today we're joined by global marketing leader and founder of Hype and Happening Podcast, Desh Govinda, Managing Director of Grid Worldwide and 608 Entertainment, Dean Woodman, as well as Gatleho Mushwane, none other than the Chief Marketing officer and executive in financial services to explore how the marketing landscape has transformed over the years with digital advancements and of course the growing role of technology like AI and automation and shaping the future of the industry. Everybody let's give them a feel good welcome please. <laughs> Guys, how are you? Amazing. We're tired. I'm not gonna lie. Sana, sana. Oh my goodness. Okay, I know you guys are tired. This is why we're so glad that you are here with us. Because it's been a crazy week so far, right? Mm. Mad. There, there's been a lot happening. But you know what, guys? I, I believe in you, and, and thank you for allowing the creative industry to grow at the rate that it is. Okay. <laughs> but this is why I need to then ask you. You know, why is it that you know the creative week that we have in Cape Town each and every year? Why is it so important for the creative industry to grow? Yeah, I think it's an opportunity to galvanize the community. Mm. I often say, you know, Dean, Kat, myself, we're all in these little WhatsApp groups. And I'm like, when are we going to see each other IRL? Okay? Yes. And I think, you know, just <laughs> not even just the creative week, the Luris itself is such an important, I would say even it's like a movement, right? Yeah. Not only do we get inspired and we go back to our brands and then we put out briefs, but we are growing as marketers as well. So love all that. in all, just feel good, you know? I love I, it. Yeah. It's beautiful. And you know what? I think I was saying it yesterday on the radio because we were speaking to the CEO of the Luris. And I was like, we can't like, you know, see anything without you guys. There's no ads. There's no like campaigns from our favorite influencers, all these different things. And of course, the creative industries or rather creative agencies are also behind that. So, you know, speak to me about what it is in terms of the role that our creative agencies actually play in not just allowing the creative industry to grow, but also just in general in the creative landscape. I think the biggest thing is we've got to write new narratives mm -hmm. and narratives that actually talk to what we stand for as South Africans, who we are. Yeah. And that represents the rural, that represents the urban, that represents the various cultures and so forth. And I think for a long time, we've had external culture imposed on us. Mm. And what's really amazing about what we've seen as a shift over the last couple of years is that our creative industry and our agencies in particular are starting to tell real authentic South African yes. stories. And people start understanding who we are, what we're about. And, you know, when they say, hello, Vietnamese, what is Vietnamese? You don't know. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. No yeah. DNA, only RSA. The RSA that's the one. <laughs> so that is actually becoming part of national discourse. Yeah. And I think the biggest thing is also the message of hope. Mm. that has been a big deficiency in our country and yeah. okay. we're seeing a lot more of that come to the fore so that's come really on. amazing you know yeah. really exciting to see and a very important one people need to hear good stories they mm. need to see themselves in a good light they need to be inspired yeah you know and aspire to a lot more and i think that's the work that we're seeing and that is the big movement that we're actually realizing and it's actually impacting the world. Yes, mm. it is, yeah. darling. Yeah. Honey, I mean, it's only right. We are the biggest continent on the whole entire globe. But I want to come to you, sir, because I know that when we talk about, you know, being an emerging leader in the marketing, you know, global landscape, Africa's doing the things that need to be done. So talk to me about, you know, what the future actually looks like for us being a future hub for creativity and even just saying to everyone else, look, you follow our lead, just like he spoke about. Look, it's time for the world to come to Africa. Mm. I always say this, if you look at what we're doing and what Kat's just spoken about and what Desh has spoken about is, authentically, we are playing in culture. Yes. Authentically, we are leading design, but leading design with thinking strategy and purpose. Yeah. Any brand that has purpose behind it and is authentically playing in culture is a brand that is really doing something great and something different. Come on. That is why Luris is here. If you look at any brand that we designed and things that we've done recently, an example of it for me is specifically where we work at the luxurious Marvel Circus. It's about how do you make something that's on, gonna be on a global platform? Mm. You know, Kat and I were speaking about it earlier and we said, if your grandmother gets it and your 11 year old gets it, 
you've created a brand with purpose. Come on. And I think that's exactly what we strive to do each and every single day. Yeah. And for me, Luri is about seeing the work, giving the flowers to the creators and to the clients mm. that have partnered together and stretched that boundaries, but also giving flowers to the teams that actually gone beyond the thinking of designing in a box. Yes, and it is going above and beyond because I feel like a lot of creatives are just overachievers just yeah. naturally, you know what I mean? Just like you guys, you know, <laughs> feel me? And guys, this is why I want to ask you, you know, how do you see marketers sort of just, you know, shaping what marketing actually looks like on a global stage? So even particularly looking at people of color in the mm, market, yeah, sphere. Yeah. Speak to me about that because you know what does the future look like in terms of what you see from your gaze? All of you must answer. Kat, starting with yeah. you. I think the biggest thing is the embracing of diversity. <laughs> okay. We are the hub of diversity. If you mm. look at the number of languages that we've got, if you look at the dialects, if you had to look at yes. you know the melting pot that South Africa is, yeah, it's amazing that we actually get to work in an environment where you can actually segment by all of those nuances. Yeah. You know, if you go to France, if you go to Spain, if you go to Italy, mm. they don't have the complexity, even the whole of Europe. That's true. If you had to create a campaign for the whole of Europe, you're not going to get the diversity that we've got here. Mm. So marketing has become very hyper-personalized with, you know, platforms like TikTok where yeah. people can create their own based on their own lived reality and so forth. How do we then get to a point where we hyper segment and actually get to personalized communication and engagement? Yes. And that's what really is going to shape the future of marketing, the ability to actually speak to me within my own micro context. Yes. Not necessarily the spray and pray that we used to see in the past where <clears throat> yeah. I'm talking to a million people. You can't. You've got so to talk to me. Mm. Speak to me. One on Speak one. the ex-hosa. Yeah. One on Hosa. One. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. 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 Guys, we're still going to continue this beautiful conversation <laughs> right about now. Expresso family, you do need to stay tuned because these guys are going to be letting us in on more about the Luris happening in Cape Town this week. However, you know that we're always a mixed masala here on your Feel Good Breakfast show, yeah. which is why the beautiful Carissa standing by. Carissa, what else is going on this morning? It's my feel good breakfast show. Oh yes, Heidi, you're on your Feel Good Breakfast show indeed. And this morning, we are continuing to celebrate the fact that the Luris are in the building. I'm talking about in the mother city. And it is all about collaboration and innovation. They're at the heart of the marketing industry with agencies playing a key role in setting standards and pushing boundaries. Today, we're joined by Group CEO and Strategic Marketing Consultant Ray Langa, as well as Devashni Ganes, the brand manager of Global FMCG, to discuss Africa's emergence as a powerhouse of the global marketing arena and here to dash herself into the conversation it is none other than dash governor the managing director everybody let's give them a feel good welcome Hi, beautiful humans. Good morning. Hi, are you guys so morning. good? They're so good. I'm so, so glad. Are <laughs> oh, you guys not tired? You guys have been doing the most, guys. It's a ripple yeah. effect. Tired, more tired. <laughs> We're tired, tired. We're tired. We're tired. Living our best life. You don't have the smurfs at the moment, but in like forms of tiredness. And yeah. that's okay. I, I love it because you're doing the work that matters, which is pushing the creative industry forward. But guys, let's talk about this. Because I think that one of the most important things that we get to do right is that we get to understand, you know, that cross-industry collaboration is such a big thing and it needs to happen. How are the Luris actually, you know, being a part of really fostering that between all of these creatives that are coming together this week? Well, we we're actually chatting about it a little yeah. bit earlier. Ah. What's, what's really great is I think out of the excitement of being in a world where we, we're solving challenges, you mm. know, we're solving everyday challenges, whether it's our own challenges, whether it's our clients' challenges, and what's really cool and I think what makes us who we are in this industry and on this continent is that we can't do it alone. What's really And it's really great that we we're in this world of solving these challenges and we're harnessing people from different backgrounds, different cultures, different elements across the industry, whether it's content creators, yeah. whether it's digital agencies, creative agencies, and we're all in it together just to try and make, just to try and get us a little bit closer to that consumer, which is really exciting. And that all um, culminates in this week, you know, yeah. where we get to express express the magic that's been created and how we've managed to, to do these things for various clients. Uh, you guys have been absolutely killing it because for me, I've just been looking at all of the agencies, particularly after COVID. Guys, you came out guns blazing. Hey? <laughs> we had to. Literally, everyone, there's always an event, there's always like the biggest influencers doing the biggest things, which I love. And this is why I need to ask you, you know, when we talk about creative industries or rather creative agencies, forget 
give me? What role do they play in setting the standard in terms of what's happening in the marketing world, but also just the evolution of creativity, not just on the continent, but even in parts of, you know, like the Middle East and so on? Yeah. Um, you know, Devashi and I were talking about this. We like to throw out the whole notion that you're going to hire an agency. Mm. They're actually our partners, yes. you know, oh. because you can't read the label from inside the bottle. You need someone. Oh. That's yeah. a mic drop, oh. right? <laughs> and so that is why whenever I've worked across brands, you know, global brands, bringing them in locally, I always look at my agencies as partners and say, you know what, they're going to see the foresight that I might not be able to. Yeah. And I think outside of the brief, the respect is so important. You give them a seat at the table, but allow them to set it how they want to mm. as well. I love yeah. that. Mm. Do you see why you guys are moving forward? <laughs> you're thinking with 100% of your brain, not just 10%, <laughs> yeah. which I love. Yeah. But now uh, speak to me about this, Devashni. When we talk about, you know, just the way in which Africa is really emerging as a leader, like I said mm -hmm. earlier yeah. on to the guys, uh, you know, I kind of feel like, you know, there's so much future growth that's happening. But how are we going to really see this happen, particularly on a big scale? So, yes, mm -hmm. we're doing a lot of things here in South Africa, but how is it going to impact the continent as well as places like the Middle East? Yeah. Look, I mean, we always look to the world for the inspiration, for the creativity, for everything that's, that's um, going to be the next best thing. But I think it's the time right now where the world looks to Africa. So it's a space, we have the creativity, we have the talent, yes. we have the skill sets. Oh. And creativity comes from experience. And yeah. what better place than Africa to actually take that experience and showcase what we have to offer. It's about nurturing talent. Mm. It's about grooming the next generation of talent. Because yeah, yeah we're sitting here in this space, but what happens after? And that for me is super important. And I think the, the Luris with, together with creative agencies, yeah. with brands are doing the most right now so that we not only create a better talent pool for now, mm -hmm. but for the next generation. So I, I think yeah. it's so important to keep that at the at the top of our heads. Yes, that's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And you know, I've seen so many industries where everyone like kind of looks around and goes, who's next? Oh no, and they're mm -hmm. scrambling yeah. Yeah. because yeah. it's too late yes. because yeah. they haven't groomed anyone. Yeah. So yeah. thank you for yeah. that. I think that that's so important. Yeah. But Desh, I want to yeah. ask you yeah. about the masterclass that Listen. you are moderating. <laughs> yeah. Honey, yeah. what is going to be going on? And especially because I know it's going yeah. to be something that is available to people to watch and consume. Yeah. Yes. What can they expect? I think ultimately it comes out of, I keep talking about these WhatsApp chats. As marketers, we've been having these offline chats. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, what if we bring it to life? Yeah. And I've launched a podcast, no plug here. <laughs> I've launched a podcast called Hype and Happening, available everywhere. Yeah. And this is its first live show. So oh. cool marketers talking about how you can really drive culture yeah. and it's turning into a cheat sheet. So if you follow at that dash or Hype and Happening, you'll get everything you need to because we're digital on demand. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, girl, doing the this things is. that need to be done. I I love that. And speaking about doing the things, uh, you know, obviously, guys, there's a whole lot of creative agencies mm -hmm. that are here yep. in Cape Town, in Johannesburg, all over the country. Not everyone could be here, right? Mm -hmm. So let's talk about this. You know, what is it that they're doing right at the moment? Because like I said, all of you came out guns blazing. What is the marketing industry getting right right now that you genuinely are like, that's the thumbs up. That's the thing we're celebrating this week. Well, look, I mean... Dub and PE, the whole of it, <laughs> right? So I'm from a KZN girl. So, I mean, um, looking at what, what brands as well as agencies are doing, it's so important to actually, the people that are here, take that back. Yeah. To the, to, whether it's on your digital platforms, whether it's actually taking that back and cascading it to your teams, it's so yeah. important. There's, um, it's a privilege to be at these events. It's such an honor to be involved in these things, but it's so important to then take it and actually then translate the creativity that you're seeing yes. and grow, grow it, right? Grow yeah. it, grow it, next gen. Yeah. yeah. And important for us to take, not from the world to Africa, Africa to the world. So this Beautiful. is where we start. This is where we start. I love that. And Ray, what would you say? The thing that the creative industry is it's just really getting right right now. I think um, a lot of brands, well, I love what Desh was saying earlier about partnerships. You know, mm. I think a lot of people are working together to try to solve all of these problems that I was talking about. Mm. But I think the most important thing for us is that a lot more brands are leading with authenticity, mm. which is really important because we're living in a world where us as consumers, we really care about a lot more things today. Yes. You know, and, we, and we're only going to support the brands that care about the same things that we do. Yes. So I think that what's really cool is that we're bridging that gap a lot more. So it's a little bit more challenging for brands and 
they, the brands now understand that they have to partner with other people to solve these problems because they so they so segmented in their own little world that they may not be able to get the opportunity yes. to to communicate with various consumers. So I think where the partnerships come in is just to elevate that level and yes. just to give access. I think that's the most important thing. And we're that. here to leverage all of that access. And I love what Dee was saying, is that now, mm. now it's our responsibility to go back home, wherever we're from. Mm. And, and tell everybody. And, and spread the love. I yeah. love yeah. that. And I love yeah. what you guys are doing. Guys, congratulations yeah. on such a successful week thus far. Thank you. And I know yeah. it's only going to continue to get better with the awards tonight and everything. So all the best. I'll see you there. <laughs> we're going to be there at the Lourdes Kassana, if you didn't know. And this is why you also need to get involved, because it is actually available everywhere. You just got to head over to Lourdes.com and you can get all of the information right there. Right about now, though, the goodness continues. I'm going to continue chatting to these guys here, right? But Carissa's got a little something for you. Carissa, what's going on, honey?